Western Europe's a, a very important market for foreign direct investment. In fact, as a region, it's the most important globally. So there's something uh, of the order of $100 billion invested out of Western Europe in Australia. And it covers a multitude of sectors. So um, from mining and energy uh, resources, uh, through infrastructure, um, agricultural and food technology, advanced manufacturing, it goes on and on and on. For companies from Western Europe, I think it's significant that Australia is a AAA rated country. We've experienced more than 22 years of uninterrupted growth, uh, which it resonates with Europe, which is in the middle of a uh, difficult economic environment. Um, we, our proximity to the Asian region, um, which is the growth engine of the world, is a significant factor for uh, Western European companies also. We have a, a strong culture of innovation and uh, strong research and development skills. And uh, Western European companies want to exploit that, and so they see opportunities in Australia. Well, there's a lot of research and development uh, activity in Australia around advanced materials. To give you one example, um, in Geelong, uh, outside of Melbourne, uh, there's um, activity that's been undertaken by uh, Deakin University with VCAM in carbon fibre technologies. And they've, um, they're very advanced in carbon fibre bonding. And we managed to put them uh, together in contact with the My Carbon cluster outside of Stuttgart in Germany. Their uh, specialist uh, expertise is in carbon fibre production, so they produce uh, sheeting. Um, so they're complementary skill sets and uh, they're currently working on uh, production of carbon fibre panelling for uh, Audi in Germany. Uh, so hopefully in the future we'll see carbon fibre motor vehicles which of course are more energy efficient because they're lighter.